Welcome back to Cloudpunk. We got three deliveries. Well, we have two deliveries. Well, one delivery. We have to. Can I ask a question? Uh, of sure. Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? Probably. Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No, I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think that is a cute dog. Well, let's be honest. You were never a cute dog. Wow. But now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people. They just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Am I still a dog if I don't bark? This dude is going through some existential crisis here. Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Camus, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second-guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Wow. Oh, I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Canis. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. What? I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. That's very wise, Camus. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. Get your tongue out of my ass, Camus. You're still just my pet. Greetings from the mother. Please put your finger on the scanning plate. Uh. I just need to drop off a package. I don't have a security pass or anything. The scanning plate, Pilgrim. I'm not a pilgrim. Look, I don't want to come in or anything. Can you just take this package, please? Or do you have a mail slot? The scanning plate, please. Fine. Just here? Ouch. Something jabbed me. I'm bleeding. We just need to check your type. We are confident you are not one of the forbidden. You are? I'm not. Alert! Alert! Forbidden type detected! Please leave immediately! Uh, but I just need to... Alert! Alert! Forbidden type detected! Please leave immediately! Fine, I'll take it back. Talk about a cult. What do I mean, forbidden type? Take it back to Rotriv? Whatever, dude. Was it a bad idea to take the package? Yes. You get to say the four sweetest words in the world. Let's go to the park? <laughs> That's five. Go to the park? No, I told you so. Ah, uh, yes. Those are good, too. Let's just take this package back to Rotriv. I don't, I'm not sure I want to. I get a bad feeling about this. Now I'm getting caught up in cults? Oh, my God. What was I saying before... Story interrupted me? I don't remember. Whoa! At least it's not far. 
I don't think. Down here? Uh, parking. Uh, oh god, now I have to figure out which level he's on. I feel like... And in a game like this, too many, four, maybe too many levels. Oh, oh, he's on this level. Okay, never mind. I got lucky. They didn't want it. You are of the forbidden type. I guess so. As am I. So they threw you out of their cult when they discovered you were the wrong blood type? No, they banished me when my type changed. I was given a transfusion after a hover crash. But if they gave you a transfusion, it would have to be the same blood type, right? No, they gave me the forbidden type. All negative. Ah, uh, I get it. And even after they kicked you out, you wanted to give your stuff back? It's not their fault that I was tainted. I've got to say, your religion seems pretty arbitrary about who it lets in. You forbidden types often speak this way. Well, me and you are the same as far as they're concerned now. You gonna give me the other half of the payment? What do you think? Uh, I guess that's a no because he didn't. All right, well, his cult doesn't like blood transfusions. He was not very nice. Hey, we got paid, even if it was only half. I hope he is in another accident. Well, what? Camus, that's a bit much. <laughs> he is bad. It is not good to exclude people like that. Normally I'd agree, but in this case, the less people allowed in that weird cult, the better. All right. Huxley and Evelyn are next. Okay. I know there are some religions out there that aren't into the whole blood transfusion thing. Which is obviously a little weird. But, you know, perhaps not the weirdest thing that religions do or don't do. Let's, uh, let's stop for repairs. I've been banging it up pretty well here. Hello! How much does it cost? Oh, not too bad. Oh my god. These guys are pretty high up too, aren't they? I don't remember. It might take a few levels for me to get there. Uh, I'm gonna hit up Evelyn first, I think, because I have a feeling that she's just gonna make me get more of those things. Yeah, see, I think those are taking me to a different level. Probably. episodes, hopefully I'll remember it before the game ends. I'll need to go around the entire map basically. Uh, oh no, there's a road ahead. And collect all the collectibles. Is there some like in far off places in the middle of nowhere and whatnot that I've passed by? So I'm gonna have to dedicate like an entire episode to collecting them. I think. I just don't wanna stop and make like special trips along the way of doing quests. Cause then it'll kill the momentum, I think. Uh teal. Yeah, teal first. Yeah, 
we are. Is that a bus? It's a bus on here. Hello, Evelyn. Give me some cash. I found more of your punch cards. Do you remember what happened? Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. Evelyn, you're really making me work here. Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. So now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what. Yes, that is correct. So, I guess we should stop, right? I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... I must recover the truth. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I cannot live like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. Otherwise known as... One of the character arcs in Fringe. Spoilers. Sorry. Uh, there was nothing here I needed, right? Where am I at? There is. This one. Um. Where do I need to go? Uh oh, it's wrong. There we go. Is it this way? Yeah, I'll, I'll go pick it up. I think it's this way. I'm surprised that I haven't picked this up yet. That's weird. Why was it focusing on that building there? I was ready for it to tumble. I don't think they fall on this level though, do they? All the way over here. And it's another one of them stupid books. So we need. S Wait, what? This way. So we need 16 more of those punch cards. Alright, next stop is to pick up Huxley and take him wherever he needs to go. See, it. I don't know if it's like the rain with like the mist that comes with the rain or whatnot, but it, it sometimes feels like I'm dropping frames, but I'm not. I'm getting a smooth 60. Um, uh oh, cars over here. But sometimes it feels like I am dropping. I don't know. It's really, really weird. All right, let's uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. all that far away. It's right here. Where's the parking at? Whoa. Was that the closest parking spot? I may have just parked further than I needed to. What? I go the right way. I feel like I didn't. Was there a quicker way? I've been here before. I don't remember it being this long to get to the... Oh, no, he is in a different spot. Hi. This had better be good, Huxley. Wait, what happened to your arm? That was a good question. 
How do I tell the Dane that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, I lost an arm? <laughs> we had to get moving. Okay. Well, that was easy. All right. I gave them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. Raguan, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were going to come for their lunch. What does that mean? I'm sorry I said to pick him up. He's still <laughs> very annoying. Quiet for now, Camus. Huxley, you think Corpsec is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected, but I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. So just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers, and if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks too. That's why you called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? I wanted to tell the Dane that she was right, that it, that it would be easy. She thought I was asking for... She thought I was asking for something. journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, just this one time, please skip to the point. Cloudpunk. That was the name of the company the dame worked for. They had some serious resources. Vehicles, contacts with society both high and low, and an up-to-date address list of almost everyone living in Nivalis. Oh no. Huxley, that could get me fired. If we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. I have been thinking more about things, about automata and what we do. And? We need to help each other, help each other be better, like saving a little girl. Everything is so complicated in the city. You do something and it is a bit good, but a bit bad too. But saving the little girl is only good. I, I can't explain it very well. No, it's fine. I get it. It's nice to help people when you can, but I'm responsible for both of us, Camus. If I get fired, I can't even keep you in the Hava. Never mind find you a new body. I understand. I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. Control, this is driver 14... This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read you, driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just need you to give me someone's address. You uh, know this someone? Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. You ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could uh, get deleted. Deleted? Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? A girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. I don't uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, taken from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. I could have been that little girl. That's why I have to help. Growing up, the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Look, Rania, this isn't a normal favor. What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink. That's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. That's what they always say! I am nervous. That was tense. Yeah, I wasn't sure he would... We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I said let's talk to this guy. Engineer, are you ever going to tell me your name? Sure. Call me, uh, Painter. 
You've given up then? You know, for a while there, I really thought I was onto something. I followed a lead down to the vents. I didn't expect to find all these people. What was the lead? An old master control program. I found a data cable that stretched out of the city. It led there. What did it lead to? Nothing. I'd hoped to find some old rogue mainframe spitting out garbage to the main infrastructure subsystems. Maybe it would be as simple as turning it off, then on again. It wasn't that simple? <laughs> Nothing ever is. What will you do now? The city needs people who are trying to make things better. I know. And I, I might go back to work. I just... I can't see another disaster and feel that weight on my shoulders. Could I have stopped it? Did I cause it? <laughs> it's, it's too much. I understand. See you around, Painter. See you around, driver. Okay. You got a team in for that. Faster, smarter, stronger. Find oh, camera. Oh my god. Sometimes the camera is just a little too much. What is this over here? Oh, it's the coolant stuff. Face over here. I wonder who it is. Excuse me, I can't help but notice you have an artificial hand. Maybe you can help me find someone. Yeah? Who are you looking for? Someone who lost a hand. I found this in the trash. <laughs> well, I think you got the wrong guy, yes? I got this beauty last week. Pure titanium. Don't want no flesh. I'm going the other way. Did you go to the limb clinic? How would I find someone who had lost a hand? They're not supposed to just throw these away, right? Don't know. Don't care about flesh, to be honest, lady. Damn it. You really want to help? Maybe let me see. I know the body mod squad around this way. Maybe I can get it back to them. Some mothers like to keep their old flesh. Here it is. Well, damn! This is mine. Seriously? Yeah, it has my ring on it. They said they was gonna donate it to someone. Uh -huh. Can I have it back? Sure. Oh, no, I don't want to touch that. Can you just take the ring off and give it to me? I guess. Ew, here you go. Thanks, lady. You can keep the hand. Great. Have some limbs, too, as a reward like. I really love this ring. So, why did it remove the hand from my inventory, then? Oh, camera, please. Camera, please. Okay. Uh, not a fan of the camera in this area, for sure. It's one more collectible, at least, over here. Peachy Keen, alright, um, where am I going now? Where am I at? Down here? That's it for here. Okay. So now I gotta meet Peter on Thrink. And I need gas, apparently. This dude is massive compared to everybody else. Jesus. All right, we're going for a green. I am receiving an order to stop. My CorpSec. Are you sure it's CorpSec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like CorpSec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is CorpSec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? 
Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. Ah! His name is Rio! And he dances like a man! Oh god. I'm running. I'm bolting. This may be a bad decision. Uh-oh. Here it goes. How far do I need to run? Oh my god. So, the game does this really annoying thing where when you hit something, it feels almost like a magnet. Like it squares you up against the thing that you hit. Which makes it harder to pull away from it. I don't know, it's really, really weird. And a bit annoying. Arrest us. We'll talk to Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. What? But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. It is bad. Quiet, Canis. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. That's weird that it just popped up talking like that. I, I don't know. Is, did it, is it because I didn't get far enough away quick enough? I don't know. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Yep, I'm ignoring him. I'm going to Peter Unthrink. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Clerk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors, caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes, ready for the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films. Cyborgs Ate My Babies 3. Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on calm. It's just a text message. He says that Corpsec networks are down all over the city. There's a Corpsec security point between here and the Alexa Theater. But if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure Corpsec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point. In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? I'm impressed. Did he just purr? Right, let's talk to this guy. I want to see what we got what going. looking for? Undernet glasses and liquid sun. No. Nope. Thanks. Hey, come back. The 69 riots? Was it riots? I don't think they chose 69 by coincidence. Good evening, ma'am. We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm going to have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. 
No problem. Is your android friend all right? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. So, we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts! Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. We got failed neurolog men sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus, and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste, and I'm gonna be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30. Can we go? What's that? Oh, sure, uh, whatever. Uh, get going. And don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. That was easy. Oh, yeah. First up, there's a clickable over here. There's several in this area. Will 3D print your subconscious while you wait? Make your dreams something you can hold. What dreams matter? Another corpse sick flyer. There's Peter in there. Did you see that? Okay, my video is already running long. I think I am going to talk to Peter next episode. There we are. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.